When we mark this damage on the graft, uh, we mark what we visibly can see. You always have the possibility that termites have traveled up into a wall void or any, any other un, unseen area of the home. So there is a possibility of hidden damage. Again, other than pulling off sheetrock and you know doing a lot of demolition to, to see the studs, you really don't know for sure what kind of damage is in there. Uh, the termite companies do have a disclaimer that there is a possibility that, that hidden damage is in there. Now, under the warranty, if you get into a wall, there is damage, but no active termites. We have to assume that was old damage that was done by infestation prior to our treatment and we took care of the infestation. Anytime you find any new or active termites, then under the warranty, we are responsible to repair that for you. As far as what can be done to make you feel comfortable, you do or don't have hidden damage. There's not a lot other than, again, taking off sheetrock or something like that. But one thing you can, can do is kind of look at the history of the home. How old is the home? And at what time it will, was the treatment made? If you have a home that's 20 years old and was found with infestation and damage, but it was only treated five years ago, you know, it might make you wonder because it sat there 15 years before any treatment was done with, at, and, and at some point, infestation occurred. But another thing is you can uh, find home inspectors to give you an opinion on that, or a certified building contractor is what I, would, I recommend. We do a wide variety of pest control other than termites. Uh, we do your general, what we call general household pest, that is the crawling, crawling insects you have in your home, ants, spiders. We do fleas, roaches. Um, we also do lawn service, fleas, ticks in, in lawns. We will do shrubbery for different insects that can damage your shrubbery. We have also started a weed and feed program. We have a handyman on staff that can do a wide variety of things. Uh, he can address this termite damage if you have it and possibly repair that for you. But he also does a lot of things in the home from installing new windows and doors, sheetrock repair where you've knocked a hole in the sheetrock, uh, just your basic things that you, you would hire a handyman to do around the house. In the past, that actually was a Farmer's Home Administration requirement that that termite seal be placed on the foundation. I have seen uh, on many occasions the termites penetrate that. It has to, to be effective at all, it has to be put on properly. Actually it needs to extend out over the foundation and bend down at a 45 degree angle. For some reason, a tubing termite cannot make that 45 degree angle over that. But when just put flush down on the top of the foundation, they will, I see them go through it where the anchor bolts, mm -hmm. holes for the anchor bolts or where the two pieces lap that they will come through it. So I would say overall, this is not an effective uh, tool against termites. If you have any more questions, uh, we'd be happy to answer them. You can call us, our office, call at our office at 870-425-4122 or go to our website at hopperenvironmentalservices.com.